Hello again, back to solving today. And right now I have a very special example because we are going to solve a linear equation, but this one has an infinite amount of solutions. Now the good news is the process for trying to solve is not going to look any different from solving a normal linear equation. Where the difference occurs is as we go along these steps, our variables, x's, will drop away entirely. And the only thing left will be a true statement. So it'll actually still make sense. That will be our clue that this has an infinite amount of solutions. So let's go through our steps and work this problem and see what happens. So my goal is to get these x's together. In order to do so, I'm going to distribute my 4 and distribute my 8. This will give me an 8x minus a 32 equals 8x minus 32. Now already you can see we might have something a little fishy because we have the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. But let's go ahead and continue and imagine trying to get these x's together. Well in order to do so I might subtract 8x from both sides. Now as soon as I do so both of my x's are now gone. They're not there. Well not to worry because when I look at what's left over, the negative 32, negative 32, well, yeah, that's a true statement. So this is my clue that there are an infinite amount of solutions for x. And there we are, have it. So if you run into a problem like this of your own, where you're solving a linear equation and x is gone, look at the what's left over. And if it still makes sense, say you have an infinite amount of solutions. For more videos, visit MySecretMathTutor.com.